Welcome back. Lead Training with Stacks of Trade. Tim Bowen here. Going to go over a basic introduction to Oracle in this video. So uh, eventually we're going to have a whole series of how to trade with Oracle. But what I want to do in this one is this is just a basic instruction and tour, I guess I would call it, of Oracle and, and what you're seeing here. So Oracle is our watch list building as well as stock trade prediction algorithm. OK, keep in mind, this is just a tool, but it is, a, I think, a great tool, especially for new traders intermediate traders and, and really even just really busy traders because the great thing about Oracle what it does is in pre-market it builds a list of stocks that have the most potential to move on the day what what is great is you know I do I build my watch list the old-fashioned way I go through hundreds and hundreds of tickers every night configure a watch list based on the most active stocks the stocks that have the biggest charts the biggest moves and then I trade off of that. What has been amazing with Oracle is about two thirds, sometimes three quarters of the, the number of tickers I locate the old fashioned way, Oracle finds and puts in its, in its daily database each day as potential trades. Now, does that mean all of them are trades? No. Does it mean any of them are trades? No. But it allows you to quickly, with one click, find the, the, the basket of stocks that it predicts based on our, our proprietary algorithm that could be in play. Then as we move into the market open, it takes the, the uh, market data at the open as well as pre-market data, compiles that and builds you a list of potential entries and support and resistance labels le levels and then makes a in essence a template for you to potentially guide as a trade. So now that you're there, you've got this list of stocks. The goal of this video is just to explain to you what you're seeing here. So now I'm just gonna start at the, at the middle because that's your ticker and then we have an indicator underneath the ticker. You can see DRYS is a stock in play today and you can see I've got a red, uh, red ticker indicator here that's showing that the majority of the, the ticks right now are to the downside. So that tells me that this stock may be a little weak right now. Again, just an indicator. Then uh, I'll start working to the left. You can see that it has a potential short entry at 575, which is basically right before I went live, that is what the stock was trading at. Um, so that, it, and actually see there, PIP, you can see it kind of jumped back and forth red and green that was showing you that the number of upticks were briefly to the or the number of ticks were briefly to the downside and then reverted back to the upside so it is just kind of a strength indicator so back to dries my signal level was 575 i now have a a support next support area of 483 this is built based on our uh, uh, proprietary fibonacci algorithm then i have my short delta which is basically the difference between my short signal and the next support level, then this progress indicator shows you that it is basically a long way from that next support area. Um, you know, obviously the stock is at 560 right now. It's a long ways away from 483. You can see other stocks like VNR that is, you know, very close to this next support level. It looks like Basically, it is ready to break through. So um, next, you have the minimum uh, level in your short area. That means that the, the maximum distance away from 575 was 10%. So at one point, this stock, DRYS, was 10% below 575 as the lowest point of the day. Um, so that maxes out your short side. Now we flip over to the long side and you can see that my signal level for a potential long is 587. Um, the interesting thing is, and, and when you're in Oracle, you can just double click and, and jump to the chart real quickly. So you can see that as it, it plans that 587 level, 
you can see on the Oracle levels, it has struggled, struggled, struggled to break that area. And you can see that right here on this 585 uh, ticker. Basically, it is it has struggled to get past that. You can see it is printed 576, uh, you know, 135 times. Um, you know, that's the number of times that the, that the ticker has touched 576. And you can also tell just by quickly looking at the chart that this stock has really, really struggled to break through 587. So that tells me that when it comes to as a potential long, you know, this thing is not very strong. It can't break through this support level. And each one of these circle lines on your Oracle indicator are Fibonacci-based support and resistance levels. So that tells me that this 576 level, it is printed there a bunch of times today. I can quickly go to the chart and see it cannot get over this 587, 585 area. So it's pretty weak at this point. Then next is you can see the number of times it has hit that resistance point. Notice how the green indicator is all the way across. That shows me that it has tried and tried and tried and cannot get over the hump. So now I'm back to, as I'm building the case for a potential trade here, this stock again looks pretty weak to me. Then the max is the maximum point it has been above the signal level, same as on the short side. So it was at one point today, it was 4.77% above 587. Then you also have your last price and then your, your percentage change on the day. So this is your level one real time. You know, the stock is at 470 or 4, 547 right now. It's down two and a half percent. You can tell that this thing is looking pretty weak here as we started this video and Oracle was showing it as a potential short at 575. When I started this video, it was roughly at 575. Um, nice kind of real-time illustration. Next, we have the volume on the day, uh, the, the, sh the float of the stock, which is nice to see, you know, especially if you're shorting, you gotta be cautious shorting low float stocks, as well as the market cap and then the short ratio. So you've got all this information here and then you can decide, okay, here's a trade that I'm looking to potentially make. With one click, you can see, you can get your chart and you can see what you want to do. Next thing you do is you now have, these are intermediate uh, support and resistance levels. So basic uh, technical analysis, I mean, each time it breaks below another support and resistance level means this stock probably gets weaker. So say... As an example, we shorted on the signal level at 575. The more times it can't get back above 557 and keeps trying to break 548, maybe the more bias I am, the more confidence I have, then this yellow indicator is the pivot point where, again, just as a indicator, Oracle sees this stock is potentially you know, really breaking down if it fails that 520 point. What I like about this as new traders and again, busy traders is you can now start basing your trade plan off of support and resistance levels. So I can say, okay, maybe I shorted at 571 and then I have a stop back here at the long trigger of 587 because that's where Oracle is thinking the stock could flip and go into a long. So if I take that trade at 575 or maybe a little below, and it grinds back against me, I now know that that is a stop point that I don't, you know, I don't want to be short this stock anymore if it grinds all the way back to 587. And then the interesting thing is you can see that on the chart. Trust me, if I was short this stock here into this fade and it grinds all the way back to that mid-morning high, no way am I going to stay short this stock. So you can see it's interesting how the algorithm calculates that and you can see it right there on the chart. So very handy for building trade plans. Then the nice thing is you can come here midday and look for stocks that are approaching uh, breakout or breakdown levels. And that's again, based on your indicators here and how close they are to those support and resistance levels. So PULM, you can see is at, let me bring it up, um, you know, it's kind of basing and looks like it wants to break down and you can see it is close to, you know, as my indicator between my short signal and my short delta, which my short delta is the, again, the difference between my signal and my support level. 
you can see PULM, this progress indicator is moving pretty far across, getting to the point where it could break through 435. That being said, up to this point today, 435 is held, and that is what it's seen as the next resistance level. The indicator underneath that support level here shows you it's hit that level several times and held. Now, ironically, if you look, that point is basically the SSR point. Now, Oracle is, is not necessarily interpreting the SSR, but it sees that as a, as, as, a, as a support level, which if you short a lot of stocks, you know that quite frequently, once a stock is down 10%, hits the SSR, you will see a little bit of a bounce. Again, strictly guidelines, but pretty wild to see Oracle interpreting that as a support level at that SSR point, roughly at 10% down on the day. So very handy, guys. Feel free to ask questions. A lot to cover, a lot of numbers here, but hopefully I broke that down. Rewatch this. Um, feel free to submit questions, and we will have more Oracle videos coming. I just wanted to kind of break down what you're seeing here. You know, there's a lot of confusion under the ticker underneath the symbol. Again, that's just interpreting the number of, of, of how many upticks versus downticks. PIP is printing up a lot in the last, uh, you know, time frame. Dries is printing down a lot. You can see Dries is getting to that pivot point, um, looking like a pretty solid short here. Uh, so then as well as these progress indicators, they're just showing you how close it is to breaking through that next support level. You can see a lot of these stocks are really at or around that breakdown point. And then um, the other thing was, was, again, got a lot of questions about what short delta and long delta is. That's just the difference between the signal price and the next resistance level. You can see on PIP, it is, you know, um, 119 was the signal. Um, the stock is at 135. The next resistance level is 138. Obviously, you can see this uh, uh, indicator is almost full. That tells you it's going to try and get through 138. If that tells me, let me look at PIP here. Always use the chart, okay? It's it's pretty cool to see this thing work. So you can see now PIP is raised near the 26-week high at 138. It's trying to break through that level. Um, if it pushes 138 and it's about to, not saying it's going to 173 in seconds, but it's a strong stock, I would look to buy this stock at this breakthrough of this 138 level then me personally, and you can do a lot of different support and resistance, I would probably look to then stop out back here at the signal level, 118, 119, and then I would probably have a profit goal of 173 plus. Not saying Pip will do it, check back. I mean, this video is recorded on uh, February 7th, 2017. We'll see the dries I see as a short in Oracle, PIP I see as a potential long. We can check back and you know and see where these go. So again, submit questions, guys. I'm gonna do a lot more follow-up videos on these, and thanks a lot.